Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Martha Anger. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Three prominent Georgia-based disability rights groups, the ARC Georgia, Georgia ADAPT, and the Georgia Advocacy Office, GAO, have joined a pending lawsuit to fight against Georgia's new voting law, Senate Bill 202. If you head to this link, you can see the video of the ACLU press release in its entirety in ASL. But here is a clip from the video explaining why opponents of the controversial bill say it makes voting even more inaccessible for people with disabilities. Stacy Ramirez with the ARC Georgia says Georgia's voting process already presented barriers to people with disabilities, and Senate Bill 202 has made the process even more inaccessible. Over 850,000 Georgians with disabilities need to fight this law. And that's because Everyone has a fundamental right to participate in our democracy. If this new law is not struck down, voting rights will be even harder for people with disabilities, and that's not acceptable. That's right. That's unacceptable. Congratulations to former Mississippi School for the Deaf star basketball player Alexis Roberts. Roberts just made history as the first deaf basketball player to sign a Division I basketball scholarship in the state of Mississippi. Roberts will attend Jackson State University in the fall. But she says she's even more excited to learn that her new head coach and teammates will be taking sign language classes so they can communicate with her. The CEO of Delta Airlines says he doesn't think the American air industry will mandate passengers be vaccinated to fly as Americans are now getting ready for the 2021 summer travel season. The CDC says cases, hospitalizations, and deaths will fall over the next four weeks in relation to COVID-19, and it's all because more and more people are getting vaccinated. Ten states have reached the president's goal of reaching 70 percent of adults with at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine by July 4th. But there are still concerns over vaccine hesitancy and getting kids vaccinated. Sources say the Department of Homeland Security is concerned about racial violence leading up to the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa race massacre that happened in 1921, in which hundreds of residents in the Greenwood district were killed and the neighborhood was left in ashes by white supremacists.
There are several events next week to commemorate the lives lost during the massacre. And officials are concerned those events could be targets for racial violence by white supremacists. A sleeping Missouri couple had the ultimate rude awakening when an out-of-control vehicle went airborne and crashed through the roof of their home. The car landed just feet from their bed. Officials say the car hit a fence and catapulted into the air before it came crashing down on the home. But amazingly, Neither the sleeping homeowners nor the people in the car were injured. Sign One News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join Sign One News anchor Jethro Woodall for a live panel discussion with three talented hip hop artists who answer the question many hearing people ask all the time. How do deaf people enjoy and perform music if they can't hear? Again, we would love to hear your thoughts and comments during the live show. We might even share your comment. A big thank you to our Sign One News app subscribers. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. You can also watch on Apple TV, Apple Watch, Amazon, and Roku.